good afternoon. Just got off work and you know what time it is. It's time for the workday recap. So my day started around 6.45 again because I had to be all the way down on the west side by 8. And uh, I was going to this uh, <clears throat> medical facility, this family care partner to look at their healthy advice system and when I got there I looked at the work order and I knew right then and there that that job wasn't going to take two hours like the work order stated. It wanted me to install one of these practice wire uh, monitors on the wall which basically all that does is run medical information advertisements and all that news weather on a continuous loop and it's all information that the nurses and doctors can use to better service the customer well when I got there um, and started mounting it I hadn't gotten it mounted yet I was testing the equipment when the main doctor came in and said I don't want it there they should have asked me where I wanted it before they did the sites or when they did the site survey and uh, so there's a big to do about where to put that monitor and I must have spent first two hours on site the two hours allotted for the job just on the phone waiting to get approval and seeing where the best spot would be. Well, I ended up moving it from the hallway to the nurse's station, got it mounted, um, then we had to get approval for uh, these display racks, which displayed brochures with various medical information like heart disease, menopause, um, insulin, um, diabetes, all that kind of stuff. I had installed seven of those and that same doctor decided to pitch a fit about that. He said the exam rooms, which all seven of them were supposed to go into, there's seven exam rooms, they're just too small, they're too cramped to put anything else on the walls. So finally we got them to agree to four of the exam rooms. So, I only ended up having to install four of those. But, uh, got those installed and he was happy and all that. Um, then the third task on site was to run a new cable for the waiting room uh, display, which also displayed various medical information for the patients to read. I searched all over that place. The waiting room has a hard ceiling. The wall it's on is a dividing wall for the other office within that building across the way, which is vacant right now and under construction. The floor's not even done. The walls aren't even done. So I searched upstairs for an access. And there's no access upstairs either. I don't know how to get that cable down that wall. So I took some pictures and sent them to the healthy advice guys, and they agreed. They decided to uh, not run that cable now. So thankfully I didn't have to do that third task. That would have taken forever, trying to find a way to do it. But uh, this was all in mind. I was kind of mad at my boss for taking this call because he knew or his daughter knew, the dispatcher knew, that I was supposed to do that Ameris, that bank call today, running that one cable, and uh, they went ahead and accepted this family care partner work order, knowing that I had that bank call. They didn't read the work order, basically, what it all entailed. And uh, I was kind of mad about that this morning, but I didn't really let my boss know. I just kind of stated uh, this work order is a lot more 
involved than previously thought. We're going to have to reschedule that bank call. And I hate to do that because when I tell an end user that I personally will be there this date, this time, I like to hold to my word. It makes me look bad if I don't. And I don't really like that. But I work for this place and I got to do what the boss says. So. When I got back to the shop, I scanned in the work order, and I was sitting there getting ready to leave. Excuse me. And the boss hands me another work order that he forgot about to install a firewall at a new restaurant. I'm like, okay, whatever. Uh, so I went and did that, and when I got there, they, there was guys there installing the POS system and the point of sale system and the various other equipment like the DVR for the cameras and music and all this other stuff they had already installed the firewall so all I had to do was just test it, configure it have the tech support push the configuration files to it, change some port settings and then test the wireless afterwards and everything was up and running. I think I was on site maybe an hour and a half or so. So that wasn't too bad. Got back to the shop and uh, scanned in the work order, went to talk to the boss a little bit, and basically told him, I'm tired, I'm going home. Been on the clock since 6.45 a.m. I didn't get a lunch today. <sighs> oh well. Now it's about almost six so it was a 10 hour and 45 minute day not too bad look good on the paycheck but uh oh it started off real warm today I mean like 70s low 70s maybe mid 70s we had a front move through and it misted and uh the breeze picked up and all that and now it's 60 and it's supposed to be in the 50s overnight so we got a little cold snap here but sun's going down now other than that it was a pretty good day I'm driving home now uh, should be home shortly thankfully day three Still not fixed. I wonder if he'll get the hint. Little ups and downs in his internet connection. <laughs> 